now recording on August 27th. This is not what it normally looks like in here. Okay, that computer is what it normally looks like, kind of junk. But all these boxes. That's that bad. Okay, hey. I guess I did. Hey. All right, yeah. All right. Lots of boxes here, kitchen stuff. Oh, that one's fragile. Oh, look in there. All the spices a girl could that ever machine. want. I put spices in everything. I would put spices in my tea if I could. See, some things still aren't packed. I'm, we're working on it. But all that stuff's packed. Oh, Thank you, baby. That's good. Nothing left in there. Oh, we won't pack the parma lot because we'll use that. Oh, okay. Still some stuff out. Lots of stuff piled up. There used to be a couch over there, but it's gone now. People took it. We hauled it out to the curb, and about three minutes later, some guy stopped in a pickup truck and picked it up. This is stuff we're giving away to, like, garage sale type people. Uh... That bookshelf used to have books and CDs on it, now it's just odds and ends. That bookshelf had DVDs on it, as did that one and that one and that one. Those little cabinets down there are all empty. We're getting ready to pack the shoes. All the coats and most of the clothes that were on that shelf are gone. And real quick, we'll take you upstairs. There we go. Oh, oh, more boxes. Some more boxes. Suitcase, boxes. Suitcase. That's part of a dresser and a bed. And oh, there's a mattress standing up against the wall. Ooh, nasty blinds. But our curtains are down. That dresser's empty. A uh, whole stack of more boxes and suitcases all ready to go. We're going to get the U-Haul truck in the morning. Uh, I am. Um, the closet is mostly empty. A few odds and ends in there. There's a ladder. Mm, boxes. Boxes. And boxes, mostly, with a few odds and ends. Some of going to recycling, some in the trash. And some of that will go in more boxes. That's one bedroom. This is our main bedroom with vacuum bags on the floor, suitcase, uh, the box spring with part of the bed behind it. This is a futon where we're going to sleep the next two nights because the bed has been taken apart. Um, there's the bathroom. Most of those cabinets and down there are empty and there's a bunch of stuff piled on the counter. I think she wants me to put that in boxes. Oh, goodness, still some more clothes, but my clothes are almost all gone. That's just for the next few days stuff. Marlene's going to throw all that in her car rather than packing it. This dresser here is empty except for a couple of things for the next few days. See, they used to have a mirror there. It's gone. Okay. So, yeah, this is about as good a view as you're going to get of Will and Marlene's old apartment. These shelves were my favorite things right here. They're right between master bedroom and guest bedroom at the top of the stairs. See? Oop, right there is my foot, and that's the stairs going down. But right here, these wonderful cabinets. We had books, books, books. Three rows deep on that side. Three rows deep on this side. I mean, you can see it. This is a, this is a deep shell. Way back there. Okay. Still some stuff down here. Some camera gear, some lighting equipment. This side had quilts and pillows packed in there. That's gone. And that's some clothes. Huh, good thing I opened that. I have clothes in there. And I might want at some point. But yeah, that took me two days alone. Just getting several hundred books out of there and into boxes. 
But yeah, that was the best part of our apartment. Also, if you go into the bathroom on the other side of this wall, there's cabinets facing in the other way that are not even connected. They're just like this, but on the other side that we had towels and comforters and I forget what else was in there. In fact, never ever filled that part up. Yeah, that's our front door. But yeah. Anyway, this is it. Alright, that was the five minute tour of our apartment as it's getting packed up. Oh, hi. Uh oh, may I mess? No, the potatoes had eyes and had potato juice on it. It was nasty. You should plant them outside, they make more potatoes. I don't think it works that way. Oh. I planted some apple seeds yesterday. I found a packet of apple seeds in my briefcase that had been there for like That's gross. 12 years. So I planted them outside. Should I pack the rice or not pack the rice? What do you think? Um, my worst fear is it spills all over the place and I can just buy more rice. Just because it's like... If you think it would be a bad idea to pack it, then that's what I think too. Okay. Okay, yeah. say bye to the good people on YouTube. Oh, okay, bye. Alright. You put this on YouTube? Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, smoke that though. That's me. And we're gonna let you go now.